do need to pressure it away at least. And they're just going to go through with this, dog and keep it simple. And sometimes that is the best approach. Full send, baby, as three members of V1 have already dropped onto the site. Vanity and Zelsus both going to show up a little late. Zelsus was cooking up something on the flank while Vanity actually took his gate crash shortly after the hit started on the site. So he found himself on the opposite side of the map, not really able to engage into anything early on. See if he can do anything with that flash. No, he's going to drop Zelsus left alone. So I think one of the things I want to keep an eye on, Dan, is, is you know, we, we talk about Viper utility, right? And the pressure that's placed on the map and how teams often play around that. Do lots of different things in the mid round, or maybe it's it's about playing the, for the lane, playing for you know, playing for the late round. And there's just lots of different ways to take map control and lots of different ways to... already arrived, but Sentinels have gotten onto the site. And Ten's in a great... Oh, no. Oh, no. He got one, but he got traded right back out. Both, kill, both teams, excuse me, have dropped a couple of members here early on. As the spike has been planted, there's so much Viper utility to play around. I mean, it's just nestled in there safely, and V1 have to push through that just to get access on anything. The gate crash is there. Penny swings out for one. Vanity looking for a bit more. As it seems like V1 have been able to take the site back seemingly effortless. Man, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was a really nice retake, and it's... It's one of those things too where you know if you're unable to hold on to you know these key positions such as like you know you hold like that means from you know to see what we will expect from from yoru mm -hmm. love me some shenanigans whippy losing the initial gun battle as he drops we mentioned vanity he took the teleport along with the fake out he's gonna walk his way all the way around and flank now the viper's pit has gone down but v1 have already taken care of the majority of what sentinels brought to the fight dapper and shazam the two remaining members who are playing in the Viper's Pit right now. Spike hasn't been playing yet. Now Dapper's starting to get this down. Zam playing close. You see some of Effie's, Effie's excuse me, using some of that utility to try to get some information into what's happening in the pit. Oh, Shazam's going to get cleaned up. It's just Dapper. And Dapper's so weak. He has to play outside of it. So you're about to see this Viper's Pit go down. They have no idea where Dapper is here. For the footsteps. Effies. Can get it? Might be able to get it to half. Alright, got it to half, but he drops. Again, his position has been given away here in a 2v1. Effies is going to... Gambling that they're going to do just that. So this might be absolutely ridiculous. What we're about to see. It's like we're on an old episode of a Nickelodeon show with slime covering really every single screen that we've seen. Now, Sick does have the showstopper, and sure enough, Sick dashes his way in. Nope, he's gonna go! Okay, he got one. He did get traded out, but V1 continue to hold fast. Shazam and Dapper have both already dropped. Vanity in a good spot. Takes a dimensional drift at just the right time, and he's gonna get away for free. Just left. Taking the From the Shadows back into the belly of the beast, understanding exactly where the remaining members of Sentinels are. Sick has already dropped. Here comes the showstopper, not going to get a chance at anything as Penny gets cleaned up before he gets a chance to bring that online. Viper Smith going to join the fold as well as it's just ultimate after ultimate in this round. Sentinels have gotten onto the site. The spike is not down yet. Vanity's in a great spot, Dan. They don't have elbow control. That just makes the retake tank so much more powerful, so much more potent because they can apply pressure from so many different angles. Yeah, getting in right now is going to be very difficult. Oh, that's an easy oh, one for wow. Tan. He can't afford to miss a shot like that. And now Sentinels just have a, a, an insurmountable advantage here yeah. holding this site. And Zelsus is really all he can do to try to get some extra economic damage in here. But oh, what a great round from Sentinels. I don't want to, you know, count Zelsus out, but it really does look impossible. And he'll move through and get taken down. And because we do have a take coming through onto Huka. More fourth position from Penny, but... Looks like Sentinels are more than ready for this, and they're going to take these early engagements happily, as it doesn't seem like version 1 have all that much to do. They unfortunately did not find the engagements in the way that they needed to, and look at version 1's defense. But here comes the push. They have to. Cosmic Divide comes out. You hear the Hunter Shrew coming out from Effies as well, who's still playing back on the site, causing some havoc, cleaning up members of Sentinels as Shazam drops. Whippy looking to snap. The spike goes down as well. That's big. 25 seconds left. Sentinels have to reestablish control of the site and get the spike which they've managed to do at this point but again whippy's in a great spot to blow things up he's on the flank oh excuse me it was zelsis zelsis good for one whippy gets the last one the third on the round v1 take the lead again come on stack to defend b showstopper coming up from sick 
Love that. Waiting for the Leer before he blasts his way across. Clearing that corner. Not going to land. Looking for a little something under whip. He gets it. 12 health left. As he patiently waits for his team to show up. Join the party. Zoms is still pretty far off the site as now the couple of the remaining members of version 1 are starting to rotate around. Celsus is on the flank as Vanity showing up as well. You can tell Zom's just kind of waiting for it, understanding there's likely a chance that they push in. But the thing is, Dan, they're kind of, they're pinched here. They're stuck. They've got to commit to be. They're going to have to fight their way through what Vanity and the rest of version 1 have brought to the fold. As Vanity takes the gate crash 30 out. Seconds left. Spike planted. Oh, Zelsus. No charges left. Zelsus in a great spot. Good for one, but the clock continues to tick away. They know where Dapper is as Vanity creeps his way forward. Dapper spotting one. That should be the call. Good for one, Zom's left alone. In a 1v2 Vanity tap. Trying to bait that out. Zom's has great info of where they are. He might be able to isolate the gunfights. If he isolates the gunfights, he can win the 1v2. Make that a 1v1 and Zom's wins it! For Sentinels, a clutch round to tie us up. The paranoia is already gone. The rotation is not in just yet. And Sick, he had to get that one. Whippy holds onto this position. Whippy knows that he can't stay alive there for much longer. Uses the TP to get out of there. Penny's going to get out as well with the frag. Beautiful work from version 1 so far. They maintain the 4v3 advantage onto this retake. He's late, but Whippy. Oh no! Just narrowly clip running dry, not able to land the shots under Dapper's position. has been given away and he's punished for it. Toxic Dapper, 12 health left. Wall goes up again. Shazam's just get whipped on by Zelsis. Snaps on his dome, cleans him up. Penny pushing through the smoke, gets one as well. Zombs is in a 1v3, a great spot to make something happen though. Does he have the magic in him again? Already good for one, but Penny's gonna stick it all the way there. The mad lad looking to steal it right out of under his nose and he does just that. Oh, gonna go heavy into B long, but there are a lot of players here. There's a dimensional rift as well. All that information is that Penny's gonna take down the first player, and Shazam at least gets the trade, but surely he's not in the best of spots here. He will back away. And out comes the Viper's Pit. The showstopper's flying. The push for this B site is real right now, but Sentinels are losing players quickly. Oh my gosh. They are indeed, but Dapper trades it right back with the judge. Two Viper's Pits were used there. You love that fake from Whippy, right? Maybe think twice about it. Penny good on the flank, already good for one. Oh, Shazam had him, had a spot on. But With the pistols, you have more movement possibilities. So it's going to work out the Sentinels will keep three players on B here. There, there was info. It was quiet. Once again, Vanity trying to get away with the gate crash. Intense cleans him up just in the nick of time. He's already gotten two with the ghost. And there's great information to understand where the rest of them are. Gets cleaned up for the third. Tens gets another one onto Whippy. Zelsus shows up. He was playing back showers this entire time. He's now going to show up to the site. He's going to get cleaned up. A 4k on the round for Tens. Oh, some just got the info. Yeah. Yep. Oh, but Tens was just waiting. Right, he was just right under the window. He never peeked out. Then he swings out. He's able to clean up one as Sentinels actually against under these on binds. And he had an insanely good game there as well. So, you know, Dapper knows what he's doing, man. He's one of the smartest players in the game, in my opinion. Very intelligent player. And they're going to start off well again, just taking down Vanity with that, that opening jewel and. Oh, there's Virgin one just gonna try to walk up short A. This is looking a little bit desperate here, Doug. Yeah, there's really it doesn't seem like there's much of a way in at all, Dan. And you you can even see what they were trying to do. Vanity was set up in showers. He used the fake out. He pushed up with it as well to give give the the impression that there was a whole lot more like hack behind that punch, but it was just they're actually gonna speed things up straight through hooker as five as a five man push. Oh, the gravity well comes through from Zombs to try to delay things. Yeah, Vanity made his way out with the Dimensional Drift, but that was it. Sick, creeping his way forward, doesn't even get a chance as Whippy was in a great spot to nullify that threat. Effie's with the Sheriff, looking for a little something. He's got the Hunter's Fury in his back pocket as well. Does V1 have a chance at this thing? The Spike slowly starting to come down as Shazam's going to use the Hunter's Fury to delay it for just a moment, and he's going to get the kill onto Effie's Whippy. And you can't check everything. And so Whippy's just going to have to have Lady Luck on his side as he moves nice. forward, grabs the spike, and there it is. It's, it's a crossfire scenario. This Reno you know, winning that one for Whippy. Success this time. They've got the Hunter's Fury there, the pressure garden, but there's no setup there. It's very unfortunate for version one. Oh, boy. 
There's, there's the setup. The setup is tense on the site. Zoms gets it as well. Vanity, though, cleaning up a couple of his own, getting his way onto the site. Whippy's made his way there as well. Yeah. Now Sentinels are starting to show up. Vanity going to dash his way out. My gosh, they're going to flip the map, Dan. Yeah, a it's TP. a fake the entire time. I love that. That's beautiful. Effie's gets on the site as well. The mind games in that entire round. Dan, that they got onto the so pass the setup on the B site once again. Version one keeping the pace really quick here, and we're gonna get those trays coming through onto the site. The spikes down. The viper pit is out as well. But Zombs has garden control. That's a big win for Sentinels here. They feel some of that pressure. Yeah, they had to take care of them. Zombs gets cleaned up. Shazam does as well. As V1 seem to have figured something out in the last couple of rounds, but they still have to clean this one up. Sick. On the other side of Viper's Pit. Yep. Sick. Good. Ron Zelsis. As he and Dapper. Buddy system making it work. Sick. Good for a second one as well. Equalizing things down to a 2v2. Dapper's just so weak, though. He's got 30 health. He needs to swing around. Sick. Good for three. Sick in a 1v1 against Penny. Sick just down to 33 health, though, and the clock continuing to tick away. Penny can just play this out for time. Sick! Baby, you call him sick because that boy's cold. He comes up huge for sick. Goes down, as you say. That's that's the first map almost in the bag, but not quite. Version 1, they've got a good buy. Oh, we get the gravity well coming through. The aggression from Sentinels, and three players straight away are just gone and sick is looking for more shazam will take down vanity and this is the most ruthless brutal savage way that they could possibly have tried to end, the, end this game i feel like and they're still definitely with more than a, a puncher's chance here of course they can't make a mistake but both a and b we're starting to see some of that peak early on penny already swinging his way around zelsa's looking to apply pressure across the middle of the map as well he gets cleaned up first couple of kills going in favor of sentinels yeah, it's looking great for them. They've got that seaside control coming through. Vanity is going to get pinched from both sides. Not too much that he can do about that one. And it's going to leave Penny and Whippy in a situation where there's nothing less to do than just hit some really insane shots. And they're going to be up against some entrenched positions. I love the focus around Garage here. You're kind of coming off the site for the most part. And just holding that garage control allows a lot of options defensively for Sentinels. And here comes the dive in. The Zombs will try to defend. Where is the trade at? The Cloudburst will deny the trade initially, but it seems inevitable. Sentinels will have too many bodies. Well, there it is. Version 1, they decided to go for more of a stack towards the A side of the map. And that's just, that just happens. That just happens sometimes where you have to take a gamble at the start of the round. It's not going to work out. But, you know, the retake is, is where it's at now. Shazam on the entry there got one step closer to getting his Hunter Fury online and you see how Sentinels they aren't just anchoring down on the site right this are, these are excellent post plant positions they've taken well of course as I say that Penny happens he's good for two with the Vandal as they continue to push away forward would be wise to the lurk around Dapper if he gets cleaned up as well Shazam and Tens left alone they've got a Marshall and well it's a Marshall and it's Tens so you don't count it out oh my gosh you don't count it out He's looking for more. He gets the other one as well. Is he going to have enough time? Did he just rob the round? No, the defuse come through. Point. And Dapper, you know, he's crept out once again. This is this is one of the, you know, ways you want to try to play against this forward toxic screen. But he's going to take down Zels. It's not ready for the wall to drop, it would seem. And at the same time, Tens is trying to creep into B. They've actually tried to out game v1 with the rotation. But version one, no, what's up? And it's up to Zoms and Dapper now in the 2v3. To try to recover this one and again we mentioned before you know, dapper's great at killing time oh zoms able to get the cosmic divide there. that's going to cause some problems so sure you get a lot of space here but this this is to try to create some some gambly situations right now because you've got to try to get lucky and dapper will not get lucky in this instance zoms now against three players gets the first one with the headshot another 1v1 for him but it looks like it's going to come through here in time for version one as they take him down and it's another close defuse and in comes the Hunter's Fury. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. Oh, it is. Bandit is going to get cleaned up. You saw the help show up just in the nick of time. Ten's going to use that Blade Storm. A good idea of where one member was. But he's going to get away scot-free. The only ultimate that Sentinels has going for them right now is the Blade Storm in the hands of Ten's. Jeek a little Cloudburst to deny any information gathered from Effies as they start to dash their way through. Cloudburst not going to connect onto anything quite yet. Just down to a couple of Blades. 
Doesn't connect. Effie's cleans it up. Zom sick. And Shazam trying to fight this thing back. The Viper's Pit's going to come out, and that might be exactly what they need to kind of keep them back. Sentinels, oh no, the shock dart from Shazam. Looking for a second one as well. Six sweeps his way out. Sick, good for three. Are they on? And oh, it looks like that's going to be the case because there goes the Hunter's Fury from Effie's. And he getting one with the Operator as well. You saw the run it back was used. Vanity playing around locks. Clean shot on the tents to clean him up. Penny gets in on it as well with the Operator looking to make it sink some more. Two members remain on the side of Sentinels. Make that one as Penny gets three. The fourth gets cleaned up from Effie's as, v as V1. That they're just going to try to work their way in through the cuts. And you see Sentinels, their post plants are off the site, right? Like they don't want to get caught in the chaos of what happens on B proper. They can just take good positioning and, and fight from behind that. Also, Dapper on a flank looking to get behind them, but is there going to be enough time? Cosmic Divide coming out. Sick looking to work his way through the gravity well into the hot hands. The dart is there as well to try to give that info away. There's Dapper on the flank. Just such a nuisance. He cleans up Zelsis as well with 10 health left. He one have to work their way through this. And Sentinel's actually going aggressively. They stop the defuse. Penny's left alone. A flawless round. What a round by Sentinel. Oh, straight in with the running back from Sick. He's going to look for those C players, and he might just find them. Oh, he's got Vanity. Yep, he's able to clean him up. There was another one there, but the ult got taken offline. The damage was still done as the spike goes down on B. Now, a, very, a slightly different flavor from what we saw last time, right? Keep an eye on Tens. He's back in Gong. He's by himself now. He's been given away. The Cloudburst not able to keep him alive. It's just cleans him up. This is already a very different look. Once again, Dapper is going to be on the flank trying to work his way around. Penny cleans up Shazam as they have to fight through some of that utility, but the flank actually comes out from Whippy to give them a bit more room to breathe. And as things continue to tick away, Dapper is going to be a problem again. Sick gets onto three. Zelsis alone. Zelsis gets cleaned up. Sentinels get to seven. Well, economy is not looking great here for version one, and it's looking even worse in terms of weaponry. Only three Spectres and a Frenzy to try to get the retake working, and it's going to be a long setup again. So this is going to be very hard for version one. And this is this kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier, Dan. Leaning towards your gun advantage. If they take away, if they try to play around long, they're going to have the advantage in that situation over Spectres, over Frenzies. And of course, as I say, that Penny cleans one up, cleans a second one up as well. Any 1v2, he has to push into that. Yeah, you felt the difference, right? Like, his way around, he's in a great spot for the flank, but no, his position's been given away. Dealt a bit of damage, but he got cleaned up at the hands of 10s. Sick looking to continue to push his way forward. Zelsis on the back of the site. And this, I, this is the first time we've seen this, right, Dan? Where they try to have that exact same hit, test the waters, it doesn't pan out, and they try to flip the map, and Dapper's made his way onto C. He's going to get cleaned up, but they've still gotten onto the site. There goes Penny right around Logs. He's going to get two. And with that, it's down to Shazam. Ten health left. It's not going to be a good look for him. The double swing comes through. Garish controls a good start. The Sentinels on the retake effort. See the stars getting put down as well. By some says the gravity well as he starts to make their way through. Vanity gets great damage. Finish up from Penny as Zelsis from the back side is also holding back site. And oh. there goes the dash. That's tense force out of the site. And as another choke point, he now has to move through and dash in the tank unless he gets another frag out of this. Time is against him. He's going to have to keep pushing. He's got no other choice. And his opponents, they know it. And at this point, there goes the, the poison orb. And se oh, I mean, of course, Tens will get the kill. But it will be in vain, ultimately, as we get taken down. But one thing that's critical. They flip the map again. And at this point, there's no question about it. They have to go towards CFEs using the Hunter Fury. The gravity well was used as well. Dapper, good for one, though. It's just good. It's going to be enough time. It might be enough to buy just enough to get them. They can't get onto the site. I don't think they're going to be able to get the plant down. Vanity trying to get it. If this is a commitment or not. Mm -hmm. We can see that it most certainly is. The spike is still actually a little bit far away. It's in short still. Oh, oh. Zombs picks up one. And now Shazam's asking questions, too. They want not just happy with taking control of the site. They wanted to push their way forward, push the defending lines back even more. While the kills were traded, they still managed to get onto the site. They managed to get the spike down at the hands of Effie's. And they're playing, they're playing back a good bit, right? Like, you see both Whippy and Vanity playing pretty far off the site. Effie's is doing it as well. They're just leaving Penny on the site to play hero. 
got a blade storm. He's got a chance at something. Swings out. No, he gets popped right in the mouth. You, yeah, it's the lineups. That's what it was out of Whippy. Ultorb comes out. Drops as well and just continues to delay, continues to buy time. Sick, using the curveballs to perfection to try to get onto Whippy. And no, Whippy cleans him up, wins that fight. They're on this tap. You're going to have to go. You see the shock darts coming out as well. And uh, Tens isn't going to have enough time. He had to pull off. He had to pull off. Pausing here because I'm like, do I have time to actually make this point? It looks like we might have some action <laughs> coming through from, from both version one with Penny trying to get a look into Garage. But Sick is, is pretty close by as well. And they have a Sheriff on him. Tens with the knives. He's going to find both frags. And okay, that's a problem because the Thrifty is feeling pretty close right now because of this. And Six out there too. He's got that Sheriff in hand. He's tagged up Effies and Tens is going to finish it. And walk into someone. When you're at this heavy at a numbers disadvantage and it may who else but tense tense with four shazam cleans it up down the, the alarms try to come through some of these choke points but they have to go against tense if tense picks off one tense could decide to just get out the site and then play the retake game like right now the no oh, oh the timing's boy. not perfect for zombies but it doesn't really matter because tense is gonna drop everybody with his help what can they do sick playing around through his health starts to dwindle down but he manages to land the shots to get the kill anyway Clipper and Stride, but information gathered. Dapper, good for one as well. V1 just down to two members left. They're both playing off site. You imagine Dapper here, if he could just be enough of a nuisance, gonna buy him some time, but no, Zelsus and Vanity get cleaned up. Or they clean up. Zelsus has to go. He's gonna drop the Leer. The Gravity Well was there, but Vanity goes absolutely huge. For Curveball. Zelsus in the fight against Sick. Some damage dealt, but V1 decide to double down and stick onto the site. Dapper wisely just lets Penny go by and cleans up. One of the members of V1 sick. Shows up just in the nick of time. He's got the classic, looking for more. V1 at a numbers disadvantage, it ties up to three apiece. Again, looking for magic with the classic Whippy and Penny. It's just tens alone. Tens with the operator, no blade storm in tow. But as we've seen, runs into Whippy, that's a problem. They're going to go for garage control. How much can Sick get out of the Judge? Uh, the Judge, good for one. The Cosmic Divide comes out. Whippy waiting for Tens. He was on the slow burn the entire time. Wins that duel. The Sentinels have the numbers advantage. V1 painfully outnumbered here. And they don't have the spike. They're going to have to pull back. And Dapper and, and really the rest of the Sentinels have full control of Garage here. Oh, Shazam cleans him up. Dapper takes care of it. And if Sentinels were trying to punish what they have been kind of historically doing across a lot of these rounds, which is, you know, they don't tend to leave players necessarily on some of these flanks. So that's quite abusable if you're Sentinels. Goes Shazam with a recon and he's going to fall back. It looks like, oh, it's like it's going to be a that's great big. opening there for V1. Tense goes down. Oh, that's big. That's big, and Penny gets the Blade Storm online too, so it's not just Tens, but Zoms and Shazam clean up a couple. Shazam looking for more, but no, we are Zelsus Chance coming across as Zelsus goes absolutely bonkers for D1. He's gonna get the spike down, but Sick is on the flank. He's got to run it back as well. As you see Dapper applying pressure from up in heaven. Curveball coming out, Sick looking for more. Dapper quims out at just the right time. It's just one. It's Effie's Woody. You have the clutch and he cleans one up, but no, the hot cans cooks him. Sick's gonna be able to get the defuse. Sentinels take. But V1 just slowed everything down to try to catch a push, and Sentinels just, they just played it perfectly, man. Such a good response from them, and now it's gonna be a huge commit towards this A lobby control. We'll see how this one. You see all of the members of V1 have made their way onto the site. The wall's gone up. Vanity to gets the spike down, and it looks like he's going to be able to get away with his life, even though he was tagged up. Now they play around the wall. A great wall, and Vanity, you know, he's able to take down you know, one player that's sick out of the picture. It's, it's almost a way to use the poison orb to try to conceal their presence, and, and that's that's a threat, you know, and the issue is this post you use. Those coming through, and some of these peaks, these headshot angles are very dangerous to deal with. Penny popping himself up on the post, doing a lot, but it looks like Sentinel's getting some value now. Finally able to pressure some of these more forward positions, and it's going down to some 10 HP. There's no time left. He's going to take down one more player, but again, no time left. Reload comes through, but it's Effie's for the frag, and it's the round, of course, for version one, regardless. And Paul, honestly, on this map, and as the defenders, and holding the site is pretty difficult as well. Sometimes you just have to give it and play retake, but... With that said, you know, with the mid play here from Sentinels, you know, is going to offer flank possibilities. 
Dapper did take some of that space away in the previous round as well, and this time it actually pays off as he cleans up Whippy across the middle of the map, as you said. Tens got in on a little bit of love early on in the round as well to clean up Penny. Kind of, you're, you're okay with it not really going their way because they have Spectres, and, you know, it's a lighter gun situation. You don't expect them to be able to fight the same way back, but Effie's was the only one who didn't have a Premier Rifle in the Phantom or the Vandal. He had the Bulldog. It was clean the rest of the way. So... I, I hope that V1 are not too conditioned away from that A side. We'll see though. You know they're gonna, definitely going to get some good feelings towards this B side. It's a great pick to start things off with, but still one player on yellow, oh. and that's, it definitely does. Uh -oh. And it back used. Some, but and with that said, we have the the push towards A and tens again. It's going to hit. He is going to hit reliably some of these insane shots, and that's an early advantage, which now is compounded even more. Shazam connects too. V1 not finding any success on the A site. You see Zoms is still playing back towards B as Whippy's seemingly like waiting around to see if the flank is going to come through. But Tens again, man, just continuing to light things up. Reyna, Icebox, Tens, those three things, just such a devastating combination. Sometimes, you know, the positions Tens takes and so on and like what he's actually trying to do. I, I'm confused at which game he's playing. If he's playing Valorant or Aim Level, what's happening? Because you know, he, look, at, look at him. He's just standing up there. He just wants to fight. He's completely exposed. He's completely exposed from multiple points of contact here. Yeah, sure. You know, they're five versus two, but he's been doing this in multiple rounds. You know, he's he is so confident in playing some of these off angles that he can react if he gets caught from a spot that he's not expecting, like that, for example. But he's still going to be taking every fight he can, and he's on Reyna. That's what he's supposed to do, and he's designed for this. Nice well, couple of kills from Effie's, but utility to do that, you can shut down some of these angles and it just takes a flash, a smoke, something. But Shazam still has a lot of area to peek from and Sick is going to be able to control 410 as well. So Oops. Sentinels are getting a lot of fights here before any ground has been gained by version yeah. 1. And it, it feels very difficult for version 1 to deal with. And they're going back to B to avoid it. Yeah, it's just not an option. Right, Dapper, this round walling off the middle of the map and taking the space away. So at this point, like, with the lockdown that's happening on A, between both uh, Tens and... Uh, Tens and Shazam, there are just not very many options. You see that ult gonna come out. They have to go towards B here. And Vanity's on the other side of the map. Sentinels are once again a step ahead. Positioning here is such a problem for version one. Oh, Shazam, he's able to just get so much vision on these peaks he gets what he wants he's gonna drop down sick is there to lend him a hand and that's the spike now down on the ground with no way to be recovered version one they're gonna take these open battle time certainly not on their side they're gonna have to get the spike down here pretty soon but they're not gonna be given that luxury shazam goes in aggressive penny punishes it and vanity's left al excuse me tens is left alone tens good for one no way not again five health dismisses away Looking for the second. No, Penny's jumping classic. And, you know, playing by pipes. We've seen how dangerous he is there as well. They have to flash off these angles, and they're doing so quite responsibly to get forward ground gained. And Dapper's going to go down in mid. That's a big problem, too. That's the Sage out of the picture. That's a res that cannot be used in this round now. And there's a question of what's happening across the middle of the map, right? But Shazam getting the first shot with Dapper. You hear the Hunter Fury comes out as Penny follows it. Into the back of the site, but Shazam continuing to cause problems. And Paranoia was there, it blinded him up, but he just narrowly got away. The spike has been planted. They're gonna dash away. The only ult they have is Penny's Blade Storm. Zoms has the Viper's Pit as well. Shazam's up. Seen how good he can be. So while numbers advantage in favor of V1, they're certainly far from being out of the woodworks. There's the Viper's Pit that we mentioned, and because of that, they, they kind of have to go aggressively here. Vanity's in a great spot as long as he's left undetected, as long as his position is not given away. He may be able to drop right on them, but the tap was there, and it baited him out. Vanity had to go in. He gets punished, and now they're going to try to tap for just a bit longer. Zoms on the swing. Zom gets cleaned up. That high-low stack is so difficult to deal with. You know, Reynas, the agent to do it with, but he's going to get paranoid, and that's going to be good for the kill. Beautiful work there from version 1. I mean, gorgeous paranoia out of Vanity there. The clean thing up to give them entry onto the site and for them to be able to follow up like that. Penny's already good for two. 
Now there are two rifles that remain on the side of Sentinels, but I mean they they are. Dan, it's gonna be so difficult to get into this thing. But Zoms in the one v three. Effie's is weak. So is Zoms. Right direction. The Marshal's offline. Tens is offline as well. Vanity's gonna ult all the way across. Dapper's in a really good spot to play spoiler here, and I don't know if they... Okay, now now his position's been given away. Talking about position being given away, Whippy's in a great spot. Good for one. Gets traded out. The res is going to come up as well, and Sentinel's got a clear advantage here. Now, Zelsus has the ult. Gets cleaned up. And my, my gosh, Dan, they've done this with, with scraps. Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. Zelsus is going to have to win one of these fights. And Nice are sent flying. Looking to give Celsius a haircut. We've got Zoms there also waiting. They've got to go forward and get the spike. And Ooh, wow. Down on the ground again to Celsius now against four players. Going to have to hit some pretty wow, insane wow, shots. Wow. But down go. There's the dash. Ooh. Ooh, the toxic screen is going to deny him the vision. He's going to try to updraft over the top, though. There come the knives. Not going to land this oh, wow. instead. Will be won by Effies. He's still holding on to it, but not for too much longer. Sentinels shut it down, and they didn't even get towards a spike plant. And that's definitely looking far more confident now than Sentinels. They're looking to, they're looking. Doesn't hear him go by, but Zom's waiting for it. Oh no. He's going to see him, going to get a good chance, but no, Zom's backs off, has to respect the pressure coming in and sit good for one. As he's cheating behind him. They're sitting ducks in kitchen. Bandit, he's able to push his way through sick, get the kill he needed, and give them a bit more room to breathe. Zom's is getting one as well. Shazam's up. Good for it. 3v2 in favor of Sentinels. Oh. Forward, trying to blind fire through the smoke, just narrowly missing a beautiful headshot again. Looking forward with the op, the op, it does indeed connect. And the sheriff have the same magic vanity. Shazam, Shazam wins it out of 3k with the sh- Oh, going for that ultimate all straight away. Have a great crossfire set up, follow the drone in. Bam and Tens both already messing up a couple members of B1 on the side as Tens. Aggressively looking for more Reyna and a pistol can be so difficult to deal with, but Effie's answer is the call, at least enough for now. As Whippy's alone, he's got a classic. But then, my gosh, that's a that's a difficult fight to win. Dels is up on the pipes. Profanity there through the smoke, looking for two, but he's only gonna get one, playing into the Spectres. This is scary. Tense goes the high position, but he's gonna get taken down. Celsus had the counter. Oh, well, there's another counter. The one upmanship from Shazam. It's looking good. Looking good. Now you see Sick backing off. Does have a couple of shock darts. One enemy remaining. Oh, but you, why, why, why need a shock dart when you've got a Phantom and Shazam? Looked like Whippy was going to walk right into his crosshair, but Whippy taking the high ground, looking to go in the He may be able to get behind him. Oh, no. No. Whippy, good for it. Eight health. Six bullets. The 1v1 goes in favor of Shazam. A 4k set. Oh. They just bulldoze. And once again, you, they know they know the shenanigans from Vanity, but the timing's not good. Vanity with the timing, with the frags. It's going to be Sentinels now reeling in pain from that one. They may have to try to back away, but version 1, I'm not going to give them any ground to do so. Finishing them off, giving them no option but to fight. And there is no fight wow. left. Dapper's going to go down and thinking that maybe Sentinels will switch things up for a fast timing towards that B site. And the drone's going to see nothing. I think it just killed one player, but look at the wrap coming through from Sentinels. Oh, no. They're going to swing straight through mid into the B site. And just as they got dominated in that previous round, but Penny's coming back into it. There's one left to go. It's sick. And Penny has four bullets to play this one. And they are going to encircle this position around B long. And Penny is looking for the timing, but Penny knows that is up to sick to get the spike and plant it. So that's some extra information. There goes the timing. The recon is going to tag Penny. That gives him the time to get the reload in. And there reload comes the swing. Space. The peak was there. Sick backs off. Penny hunting, looking for him. He has to try to get this gunfight. Gets the defuse. Penny spots it. Penny gets it. A 4K. And he gets the defuse. Yeah, this is a really tough spot. And the spike is 
the long sword. Gonna try to back away and the push comes through. Version one don't want to let them rotate out. They're gonna push the issue. They're gonna force the fights and they're gonna take every frag so far. Push all the way back into spawn. But this might be the haven that's needed for Sentinels. They're able to hold that position for the time being. And this is yeah, gonna reset things. Dan, where do you go? Right, like, where do you go again? Look at where V1 is set up. There's no place that's safe. The middle of the map's not an option, as we just see. And you know that B wasn't... Thumbs is a sitting duck. There is Pen Aggressive push his way through. Snaps onto Tens. He was a sitting duck. He's going to try to use the run back to get away. But no, now they're going to know where he is. He gets cleaned up right off the bat of 4v4. No operator in the hands of Vanity this time. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a interesting running back coming through there from Celsius. 4v4 as the site gets taken. Vanity can't escape. Oh, it's just Amron's out of bullets there. That's going to help version one ever so slightly but the spikes are going to get planted now it's going to be down to effies but with the operator shot as shazam swung and the dash came through forcing whippy into that forward off angle with the classic and just barely not enough time and the efforts from penny time and again are coming into bail out the can version one stop him <laughs> uh no not so far whippy gets a lot more than he bargained for as he gets cleaned up and dan like they don't have great weapons right like effies on a sheriff as well it almost seems like a foregone conclusion at this point, and that certainly helps. Celsius is off the board. Tens looking to put V1 away. T gets a kill. Two ultimates in their pockets. A 5v3. V1 in a brutal spot here. The shock dart comes out as well. Oh no, just two members remaining. Kennedy's going to get cleaned up as well. It's just Effie's with the Sheriff. No less good for one, but no, he gets 